The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 4, Thoughts. This episode is called A Different Approach. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything Star Wars leading up to including this episode. The show is rated TVPG, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, I felt like this episode flowed very naturally from the last one. You know, the, the two of them have escaped, but... You know, they, the ship took some damage, they crash, and have to find a way to, to proceed. And <laughs> and Omega is thinking, you know, we have, or, yeah, says, we have to go back for the, for the other prisoners. You know, really, the entire episode has this conflict between Omega's altruism and the... The, the, um, I think he would call it realism of crosshair. You know, this thing of, like, uh, Omega wants to save everyone, wants to avoid violence, and crosshair, you know, is thinking, we have to be careful. You know, we can't help everyone. And I appreciate that the episode does let both of them have some points. Like, at the end of the day, it is still violence that you know without violence they wouldn't have gotten away at the very end from the from the captain but you know omega you know points out without yeah you know, we wouldn't have gotten this far without batcher and just yeah and let's see yeah hemlock talks to to nala say and it's basically one of those villain things where he's just saying you are in so much trouble and not much else. But it's a good, you know, they're they're engaging characters. It works. And let's see. and and you know, it works as an update. You know, the the um, he's basically telling her you have failed. You know, I know about Omega now. And. Yeah, um, Omega manages to compel the the alien to you know consider a a bribe. I have to admit the way that I I was it was giving are you a cop? You have to tell me if you're a cop. Kind of like I was thinking oh like you want it on tape or something you know but no. At the end of the day, it was just, yeah, you know, the, the alien says, or ticket seller, right? I'm not 100% certain if they're alien, robot, something in between, but the, the ticket person is, you know, 15,000. 15,000 per. Wow. And, and it is legitimately clever of Omega to, to gamble, to... Yeah, you know, she puts it, I guess we'll be in more trouble, well, you know, oh, and everything was going so well, like, we sure can't do that, that would be, just, yeah, and, yeah, uh, very tense when the Imperial Captain shows up, I like that Omega wants to win at least a little more, so she says, my luck has to run out eventually, and he buys it, you know, this, I want to say that's a Trandoshan, you know, just, because, at the end of the, not because he's Trandoshan, but because that, if you gamble, you know, some, even if you lose a lot, there might be a little voice whispering in your ear, if you could just win it back, though, if you keep going a little bit long, you know, that's part of why gambling addiction can be so difficult to treat. So that's basically what Omega is appealing to here, you know, one of many times where a good guy in a Star Wars, in a piece of Star Wars media, has used something bad to to win, and the the you know the fact that he has been sitting there and, and is gambling for this long suggests that he is you know he has a problem here. I mean, the, honestly, the moment that I see a kid walk up, I'm like, you know what? I'm sitting this one out. I don't, I don't want to win a kid's money. You know, which also, like, 
yeah, th the fact that she ends up winning a lot of his money, you know, for, yeah, gambling, you know, it's, it's one of those things, I, I don't think it's inherently wrong, but it is one of those things where you really got to be careful, you know, that it doesn't become a problem. But yeah, you know, this this is someone who's happy to to take money from a kid. So, yeah, it's it's less yeah, he's just not a very good person. And yeah, the the captain gambles with Omega for a while. I love the, you know, j the, the captain just walks up. And it's like you're in my seat, you know, just the he doesn't yeah, the the other guy knows, you know. Oh, this this guy is basically like a mob. But he's the Godfather, you know. So so yeah, he just gets to to take over, and after losing money to Omega, then he's like, oh well, you know, there's a fine for gambling. That's technically illegal around here, you know. I'm sure he would not have talked about a fine if he had won her money, but because he lost some to her and we also have the thing about you know he's like ah you know that dog we gotta get rid of it, you know and she's like okay the crosshair take it outside and then when they go outside the imperial you know some some of the imperials took the dog away from just yeah let's see you know between when in an, in a fairly early scene, they're walking into to town and they spot you know Imperials between the the you know space Nazis, Omega's relative like the she she could pass for the the you know yeah I'm just this is gonna be confusing if I don't just say it kind of made me think of like commandos too maybe it's just cuz i cuz i really want to be playing that again maybe I, maybe i will at some point you know omega could pass for the thief crosshair is a dead ringer for the sniper you know they've got a dog that could distract and they're dealing with nazis Let's see and uh let's see yeah the the um, once they realize that the dog is is gone, you know you have the the you know this other seller, which you know we we saw earlier they were struggling, you know they're you know they're a they're a street vendor and no one seems to be buying, you know the the frustration that we the, they expressed there that's more than you know oh for the few seconds that the audience has been watching I haven't been able to sell anything. That was like, I can't believe I'm still not selling anything. You know, it's maybe been hours since they made a sale. So, so yeah, you know, they're like, okay, 10,000. You know what? 5,000. And I'll tell you. And... <laughs> Should we free the other animals too? Don't push it. And... Yeah, the, the, the captain was waiting for them and then says, you know, there's a fine for having a dog. And, you know, makes it clear he knows about Hemlock. And, yeah, you know, he says, why don't you just give me back all my money? And, you know, Omega goes, fine. We'll try it your way. And very nicely done. Because, yeah, briefly it does look like she's giving up, but she's not saying, fine, we'll stop fighting back. She's saying, fine, I guess, you know, violence is sometimes necessary. Let's see, and, and I do appreciate, you know, it is, a, it is a conflict, you know, the, the conflict between altruism and realism is something we have to deal with in real life as well. You know, I, I try to be as altruistic and empathetic as, as possible. There are some times where we just have to say, you know what, this is the only way to do this. It's not, it's not gonna be pleasant, but you know the the, yeah. And let's see. 
Yeah, and and Omega, you know, did manage to get to free the other animals. And yeah, they get out of the. By the way, a really great action throughout the episode. And at the very end, you know, Omega has a very happy reunion with Wrecker and Hunter. Uh, to an extent, also Hunter. And Hunter is like, you didn't do all this alone. Who's with you? And yeah, you know, I, I really appreciate that we don't see yet what the reaction is. You know, it's just because, like, honestly, I'm not 100% certain... I wouldn't rule out that Wrecker is like gonna be, you know, big puppy dog and be like, oh, "Look, Crosshair's back! He's back!" You know, I can imagine Hunter will at least take some convincing, but I'm not certain if it's gonna be like, you know, what at the end of the day, you're still one of us. Let's go with, or if it's going to be, I don't ever want to see you again, you know, kind of thing. So, yeah very very good choice for, you know imagine if the episode ended before Wrecker and, and Hunter made an appearance you know it just would not have been the same but yeah you know it it is a it is a complicated situation you can understand why forgiveness is very difficult in this situation but yeah um the next episode will be in a week, and so will my vlog on the episode B. And yeah, really loving the season so far.